how to lighten up the gloomy winter months, not just for us, but for your pets. Apparently, it's all rooted in science. Turns out your dog or your cat may be depressed, and a special treatment that works for humans could also work for your pets. Yes, it's true. ABC's Dan Harris has the story. Of all the absurd things we do for our pets, the massages, the themed birthday parties, the treadmills, the high-end couture, Paris Hilton's $325,000 doghouse. The inside is like moldings and a chandelier and lighting and heat and air conditioning. Of all the over-the-top pampering, this picture, at first glance at least, struck me as the apex of this particular brand of mania. This doe-eyed little pooch is staring into an artificial sunlight generator just in case he's getting depressed from lack of sun exposure. The thing is even made by a company called Positive Lighting. But then I heard about the guy who started the company, Max Marvin, who not long ago was suffering from a fierce case of insomnia. Max's doctor told him to use a light box to brighten the gloomy winter days in Portland, Oregon, and it worked. Not only on Max, but also on his golden retriever, Luke. Luke and I were both basking in the sun every single morning, and I found that he was just completely drawn to the light. Max did some research, and it turns out a lot of vets think pets might be getting seasonal affective disorder, a condition that causes depression in humans and in animals may lead to lethargy, lack of appetite, clawing, or inappropriate pooping. Unlike humans, pets don't fake it. You know, they don't say, you don't think I'll sort of work to this, or I'll call in sick, right? But if you eliminate the other things that are true problems, then you'd have to look for the fact that this pet may be depressed. Luke would just be on his back, enjoying the light, and happy as can be. At 200 bucks, it's cheaper than a diamond studded collar. And who knows, maybe at the very least, it will cheer up the humans in the house. For Good Morning America, Dan Harris, ABC News in New York.